Hello everyone, my name is Dorian and today I want to give you guys a few crucial tips on how to set up your Thrustmaster wheel on PC so it would feel more realistic. Now what I mean by that is that these are the settings that I found to give any Thrustmaster wheel the sensation of driving a real car or as close to it as possible really. If you found it helpful, I would love for you to hit the like button and if you really like it, hit subscribe and notification bell and always feel free to stop by my Twitch channel for some iRacing shenanigans. It's important to note that these settings would help you avoid clipping and in the chance of your Thrustmaster is overheating, it could help you as well. And I'm going to demonstrate that at the latter part of the video. I've been using Thrustmaster wheels for the past 3 years now. I had the T300 and nowadays I'm using the TSPC. But it's crucial to know that these settings work for any wheel Thrustmaster makes, like the T150, TX, TMX, TGT, and of course the T300 and the TSPC and XW. I've tested it on most of the wheels I mentioned and they all perform much better. With precise communication coming from the wheel and in general, you won't be fighting the car as much and you will be able to find it more predictable when losing the back end or when experiencing understeer. Also, I primarily race on iRacing, known for its endurance events. These settings allow me to sit in a car for hours on end without feeling fatigued or tired. Keep in mind that if you want an in-depth explanation on what each setting does, there's a link in the description below to Thrustmaster's website that explains the nature of these effects. But I'm gonna tell you exactly what you need to do right now. Okay, so first thing we want to do is find your game controllers menu. You hit Windows button and you look up game controllers and you find this menu here, you click on it, you get this window. Here you'll find your uh, wheel model usually. I have it on advanced mode, so it says advanced mode, but usually it'll say the wheel's name. Double click that and you go to your game settings. In your game settings, it should look something very similar to this. Anywhere between 60 and 75% on default and everything here is set to 100. What I found is that there are two effects that really clutter the feedback. Those are spring and damper. These little guys right here. Simply put, these settings use a lot of the wheels force feedback to make it feel more lively, but considering that games like Assetto Corsa, ACC and iRacing have their own effects that they would like you to feel, Spring and Damper can really get in the way of that and cause an effect called clipping, which basically means you're losing information coming from the car in exchange of raw force, giving you a less dynamic driving sensation. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take the spring effect to zero and the damper effect down to anywhere between 5 and 15%. I encourage you to play around with the damper effect to customize it to your driving style. And now because we've taken these settings down so much, effectively making the wheel's life a lot easier, we can afford taking maximum strength up to 100%. That's it. That's all you need to do. So you take this up to 100%. You take spring all the way down to zero. And I usually end up with anywhere between 10 and 12%. But pl please feel free. You can take it up to 30% and see how that feels. It will use more force. Depends on what you really need. It, as you can see here, there's a disclaimer. It also affects the weight of the wheel. That means it's going to make it feel stronger. That's why I don't use a lot of the damper effect, which kind of makes the wheel hop around when you're bumping around on the track. And it's a really good feel, but if you use too much of it, you're going to kill everything else. So keep that in mind. We're going to put it right at 12. Well, 13 will do. Well, perfect. Click OK. And you're good. Okay, so from this point on, all the other settings that you may need can be changed in game. Try not to touch the driver settings, but to adjust the game until it feels exactly how you want it. Here are my settings in iRacing for the Audi R8 GT3 with the TSPC wheel. Keep in mind that these settings can change slightly from one car to another according to your taste. And while you can play around in here as much as you'd like, I try to avoid using linear mode and make sure you use the correct wheel force. 
So for the TGT, TSPC and XW, 6 Newton meter of torque is where you want it. This is how much peak power the, the electrical motor inside the wheelbase can produce. I know that for the T300 it's 3.8 and for the T150 around 3. But you can try to google that and see what people are saying regarding the force it produces. 3 should be a safe setting though. And here's the result of what we just did. The F under the FPS counter stands for force feedback and how much of it I'm using. I'm driving the Audi on Mount Panorama, a track that is known for its bumpy road and high speed corners. And you can see that for the most part, the force feedback meter is well within the green, going into the yellow very, very briefly during a bumpy corner. This meter indicates how much available communication or bandwidth is available on the wheel, with the color red indicating that I'm maxing out the amount of info the wheel is capable of giving me. Notice how it never goes into the red. That means that whatever happens, if I'm getting the car sideways or if I hit a curb at high speed, the wheel is going to let me know exactly what's happening and I never lose touch with the car. Now I should disclaim that there are people out there that use completely different settings and are very happy with how that feels. There is a matter of taste and driving style here, of course. I've decided to put this tutorial on because not only did these settings help me and my driving, it also helped everyone I know using the Thrustmaster from the T150, TMX Pro, T300 and TSPC. Let me know if you found this guide helpful or if there are other settings that you recommend for Thrustmaster wheels. If you enjoyed it, leave a like, hit the subscribe button, and hop over to my Twitch channel to watch me road rage and complain. See you on the track. Bye!